Kamala targeted individual by demonic gang stalkers and I just want to do share something on that today it may be organized by the government you know who cares and these people that are gang stalking other individuals I really truly believe that they must be possessed by demons and I really don't think that most of them are aware of it um, so I say that we must pray for them so they can have salvation in Jesus Christ also and I wanted to share some of my thoughts today on forgiveness and from Matthew chapter 6 verse 14 for if ye forgive men their trespasses your heavenly Father will also forgive you 15 but if ye forgive not men their trespasses neither will your father forgive your trespasses so it's very important that we forgive our enemies and these people um, possessed people seem to um, not be aware of what they're doing um, believe me I can see the demons in some of them now and um, it's really really sad and so I say we have to pray for them so they can have salvation also and I think the whole reptilian thing is just another plot by Satan um, he's made these demons look like reptiles so a lot of people get um, fixated on the aliens the aliens and things like that but I really think that whether they're here or not it's from Satan it is and so remember to rebuke him I rebuke you Satan in the name of Jesus Christ my Savior get thee behind me and with that my prayers and thoughts go to every targeted individual and remember also the scripture that says he who endureth to the end shall be saved this is the patience of saints and it takes a lot of patience to endure this but don't lose your cool that's exactly what they want to, for you to get angry or as a number of people have done taken their own life don't do that either just pray and stay in the Holy Spirit and put on the full armor of God each and every day and um, play, pray for the, a hedge of protection of the blood of Jesus your Savior to surround your home, surround your family and to walk with that, that you can be safe and secure in that. Alright, no matter what is done to your mind or your body, nobody can take your soul from God. You have to give it to the devil. So. And another thought I have is